This is the Power Vessel Wireless Media Keyboard Model PVK01 or Fundian Bluetooth Keyboard with Jog Mouse and Audio Receiver Remote Wireless Controller, the white version. I'll be doing some testing on an iPad Pro, an iPhone, and extensively on a PC. Timestamps are below. You can skip to wherever you want to. But I assume you may want to see this thing close up in detail. Here's a quick card connection guide for a variety of devices. And the user manual, you can see this at the end of the video in its entirety. This thing is really small, feels like a well-made, well-constructed. You'll see how it is. There are five top glossy main buttons, left hand jog mouse, right hand d-pad. Moving the jog mouse feels good and not cheap. Good bouncing feedback, but it's not pressable. Shoulder buttons, micro USB port, on off switch, 3.5 millimeter jack. The back is smooth, but slippery, I have to say. I believe Fundian is a South Korean company, but the device itself is made in China. The buttons and the D-pads feels pretty good. Pretty good. Again, you may skip to wherever you want, but I assume that you're here to see this up close in detail. It's going to be a long video. I hope you stick around. I noticed this Bluetooth button is flushed compared to the other on top. The typing QWERTY key buttons are also pretty good, pretty good feedback. But you could see that this device has uh, odd key arrangements, especially with the enter key right in the center. So you know I won't be able to test every feature on this device, just what I can. Take another closer look around at the device. I had wanted the black version, but the neon red D-pad color didn't do for me. Uh, it makes it look like a toy. This is a magnetic charging system that I use on most of my devices. This one is the micro USB head. As you could see, that should be the charging light. I'll look it up. Stadio Blue, 100% charged, flashing, low light. And here's the size comparison. This is my iPhone mini, 13 mini, small TCL Roku TV remote, Apple Magic Mouse, Best Buy Essential Mouse, AirPod case, Rubik's Cube, next box controller and an Apple card want you to see me try the jog mouse again it's not rubber texture like PS5 or Xbox controller just good dense plastic the d-pad again and everything else again quickly it would have been better if the jog mouse has the same texture as the QWERTY keys. Now pairing the iPad and see what it can do. The function key and the Bluetooth together. It's already detecting some things in the back, but I'm going to press the, key, the, the buttons anyway. That seems like an audio uh, for the audio jack, but I won't be testing that. See pairing the one with A at the end. It says on the card that I should be selecting the one with the K at the end. Well, as you can see, none of the games that I have will work. But I could try something else. Home button there. It works. Home button. The cursor moves with the jog wheel, jog mouse, sorry. 
left shoulder button for select. I want to change the speed of the mouse here. I can also use the select button next to the D-pad. It is a bit awkward using this jog mouse to navigate the cursor. It's awkward. Not very precise. As you can see, typing is fine. Increasing the brightness and decreasing the brightness. They work. Next, pairing with my iPhone. While this demo is going on, I want to mention that this was a crowdfunding Indiegogo product. It even had a pouch made for it. Check out the overview at the time. World first wireless hi-fi audio plus all-in-one remote controller. All-in-one input device, gamepad, mouse, and keyboard supporting standard Bluetooth. Very ambitious. You can pause and see the rest of that. Back to my iPhone. Right here, I'm about five feet away. Take a look. Oh, this white version is a finalized version. The white version in the campaign was a bit different. The jog mouse, the D-pad, and the shoulder buttons came in darker color, which I love. Man, what happened? Okay, you can see that works fine. Okay, let's take a look at the backlit keys. That looks fine enough, but you can see there's some light bleeding here. Now I'm thinking the plastic may not be thick enough. The black version would likely do best here. I'm gonna go darker here and see. Wow, major light bleeding here. To me, I think there's a design flaw here for the white, white version. You may like this, but I don't think it's supposed to be this way. I think the black one may have some light bleeding, but not this major. Okay, moving on. Here I'm testing switching between devices. As before, it's still connected to the iPhone. Now switching to the iPad. As I suspected it, it will not work. You'll have to unpair it and reconnect it to work. Moving on, testing it on a Windows PC. Say you don't have a keyboard, you'll have to use an on-screen virtual keyboard before connecting a new one. Of course, you should have at least a mouse to help you navigate. In the settings, go to Bluetooth and Devices, then Add Device. So, turn on the power of vessel. And select Bluetooth on the PC. And there it is. Your device is ready to go. Using the jog wheel at this time is a little slow. You would have to go and change the speed of the mouse. The D-pad works. And the left shoulder button to select. Just, uh, use the mouse and push it all the way. Mm, much better. The keys on the keyboard feel pretty good. While testing the keyboard, I'd like to say something about the firmware update. I believe prior to them putting this up on sale on Amazon, they had installed uh, an OTA first generation V3 firmware. They have an additional firmware OTA update planned for 
between March to May 2023. No breakdown details about this firmware can be found anywhere yet. On their Fundian website, what I could tell updating a firmware using an Android device is one and done by downloading their app, then update it through there. However, updating using an iDevice like an iPhone or iPad is not as simple because you're not just downloading their app. You also need to have a Mac or a PC and download firmware file from their website, installing that, then plug in an iDevice that has their app, open up iTunes and add or drag and drop a document onto it then unplug it and run the mobile app on the iDevice, approve Bluetooth message, search for some stuff on the mobile app, turn on the mini keyboard, select the keyboard name in the app, and finally select OTA to update. It's crazy. I don't know what that update contains. I don't know if it's worth it. Anyway, trying to navigate a browser. The jog mouse or wheel is not quite precise. It's cumbersome. I may have to change the speed again. This could break your experience if you were to use this as a media keyboard, a one and done keyboard, or you just have to get used to it. It's a bit erratic when I'm trying to aim and I'm, I'm keep overshooting, but scrolling with the D-pad no problem. As you have seen, with the jog mouse, the cursor will never go in a curvy path. It always goes straight, unlike the mouse. All right, let's test it with a paint app. Again, I'm keep overshooting a lot. To me, you would really have to get used to it really get used to it. Practice, I guess. Can't quite curve it, as you can see. That's fine. Let's try if I can do some simple gaming. I am struggling to select things. I can't switch the light under G for game mode or gamepad G mode. Okay, so I think I know. I am going back to the settings. So I'm going to go and add device again and select another option, the, the one with, that ends with A, the PVK01A. And let's see if I can toggle to get the light under the G mode. And there you go. This time Steam does detect a generic gamepad. So enter is to select. Okay. It's moving. Oh, okay. All right, jump. I have to press K to jump. I forgot to make sure that my capture card accept the audio. Sorry about that. So I don't know what button does what, so I'm just messing with it. But it does seem to work with the game. 
Okay, L is to dig. Anyway, as you can see, it does play a simple game, but you need to figure out what the uh, what key does what. I assume it's mouse and keyboard configuration. You can look it up for your game. And that would be that. Anyway, this is the end of the video. You may continue watching to examine this manual page by page if you like. So thank you for watching. I hope you come back for another video. Yes, do come back. Thank you.